Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas for YOLO Live, and today we're going to be talking about one of the great features of the YOLO Box, being able to do multi-camera live switching anywhere with the cellular connectivity that is built into every YOLO Box and in-stream. Now this video is mainly for those users who are new to using the YOLO Box or in-stream and want to use it with a 4G LTE SIM card to make a cellular internet data connection, especially where there is no hardwired internet and no Wi-Fi available. Now, the first thing you may wonder is, I have a cell phone. Why can't I just hotspot my cell phone and share the data? Well, you can. And many people do that. But there are also times when that may not be possible. Like if the YOLO box gets used by many different people, like in a school or a volunteer group or a portable church with vo different volunteers helping out every time. Essentially, anytime many different people will want to use the same YOLO box to stream, it's just easier if it's ready to go with an internal cellular connection that nobody has to configure every single time a different person uses it. Or Perhaps the YOLO box or in-stream will be used in an area where your personal cellular provider may not have the best coverage. You can outfit the YOLO box with a SIM card from a different carrier that has better coverage in that area. Looking at the back of the YOLO box, look at the serial number. It should start with an N if you are in Canada, America, Mexico, etc. If it starts with an E or F, the YOLO box is made for use outside of North America and Mexico. The original YOLO box uses a micro SIM card, while the YOLO box Pro, the Mini, and the InStream all use the Nano SIM card size. Each device has a little tray with a tiny pinhole next to it that you can use the SIM card tool that's included to push in and remove the tray. Then you can put your SIM card on the tray and just slide it back in until the SIM card tray is flat with the outside of the YOLO box. Now remember, the trays only slide in one way. Line up the pinhole with the extra space on the SIM card slot. Don't force it. If you can't connect to the internet successfully with a 4G SIM card, what should you do? Well, let's take the US market as an example. Before launching to the market, YOLO Live tested major operators like T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T, which all work. There are also subcarriers like Mint, Visible, Boost, etc. They actually use the major carrier networks, but offer different types of plans, not all of which carry unlimited data. So first, be sure to check your plan, not just for unlimited data, but for unlimited LTE or the fast data, because some budget plans save money by offering a little bit of fast data and then slow down to 3G speeds, which simply won't work for streaming video. Again, check the serial number to make sure that you have the right unit for where you're trying to use it. Also, make sure the cellular account you have with your carrier and your SIM card includes data, texting, and calls. Some SIM cards that are made specifically for tablets won't work on the YOLO box. You'll need to get a different SIM card from your carrier. Here are three key tips. One, before launching in the US, we tested major operators like T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T, which all work with the YOLO box. Carriers in the United States, Canada, and Mexico use specific data bands, so check the serial number on the back of your YOLO box to make sure that the box you're using is made for the market that you are in. Similarly, YOLO box owners from the US traveling abroad may encounter a situation where the bands used are not the ones that are built into your unit. Secondly, make sure your SIM card is inserted correctly. Don't force it. The SIM tray has a small notch. That means the card can only be held correctly in the tray one way. And the tray only goes into the YOLO box one way. So if it doesn't slide or fit easily, it's not the right way. 
Three, double check your IMEI code. The IMEI is a 15 digit number, which you can usually find on the account screen when you click on about device. Call your carrier and check to make sure that they have the correct IMEI code if it doesn't auto activate. And remember, make sure that your SIM card and your account includes texts and calls, which is not a budget plan with data only. You can also go into the settings of your YOLO box and reset your internet connection in case old data is preventing the device from making a new connection. Sometimes it's also helpful to clear out the startup settings on the YOLO box. Holding the power button down for over 10 seconds will reboot and reset the YOLO box, forcing it to make a new connection to the carrier. This can help reset the connection between them and get things working. If you're still having trouble, reach out to YOLO Live support at support at yololive.com. I hope these tips can help you get the most out of your YOLO box, the most convenient way to do multi-camera streaming wherever you may be. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.